telling it like it is. Half a day and good evening, Guam. I'm Tina Chow. And I'm Jeff Marsh, your show for Newswatch. Gov Guam's $100 million FY11 budgetary shortfall. At a time like this, it's hard to forget former Lieutenant Governor Kaleo Moylan, the high-profile public official who turned Adeloupe upside down when his conservative fiscal convictions proved irreconcilable with the Camacho administration. Now Moylan offers his perspective on what should be done to get Gov Guam's house in order before Governor-elect Eddie Calvo takes over at the turn of the new year. Here's more. Well, you know, currently uh, the government of Guam's expenditures are, are outpacing its revenues. Uh, so just put can... freeze instead of and reverse, just put freeze. I, I made the reverse even harder. It can be argued that his insistence on balancing the budget is what came between him and Governor Felix Camacho four years ago, just before he decided to run against his incumbent boss in the 2006 election. While he himself was still serving as Guam's lieutenant governor, Kaleo Moylan, is well known on Guam as a reformist senator and second in command at Adeloupe, a longtime insurance man and numbers cruncher, and this past election season as a political analyst with a penchant for calling it like he sees it. Nowadays, Kaleo is seeing red. Debt, that is, red ink. Temptation T. Overall debt is what, $2 billion? Well, um, liabilities. Okay. Kaleo says, the legislature's $553 million budget is based on only $535 million in intended revenue collections, with actual collections trending at only $480 million. And in FY 2010, they collected about $435 million. So how do you go from $435 million in actual cash collections and try to tell the government you can now go ahead and spend $553 million? How do you make that huge increase in tax collections in one fiscal year. Responding to our request for his thoughts on GovGuam's estimated $100 million FY11 shortfall, Kaleo gave us an earful. A list of cost-saving measures that includes a wage and salary adjustment freeze-out. A freeze salary increments, uh, put a freeze on the Hay Study, uh, freeze above-step recruitments, uh, freeze reclassification and reassignments of pay ranges, uh, they can limit the annual leave and sick leave accrual. They can implement uh, workable comp time policy. He even sees a need for possible furloughs. But do I see the government doing any of that? I don't really think that uh, there's willpower to do that at the end of the day. Now, Moylan says he saved $106 million as Ways and Means Chairman in 2001 and $139 million as Lieutenant Governor in 2002 through cost-cutting measures, as mentioned there in that story. Moylan says now Governor-elect Eddie Calvo's team must weigh their political strategy with the need for a strong fiscal policy, saying, I'd bite the bullet now, revamp every program and make GovGuam stronger or the situation will only get worse. And even GovGuam's capacity to borrow will downgrade in the eyes of the bond market. Moylan adds that he has no immediate plans to run for political office, but isn't ruling out a run in the future. You can see more of Kaleo's financial management recommendations for the government of Guam cash crunch online at guamnewswatch.com.